Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, amen. Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. Praise God, praise God. Amen. Father, we we'll bless your name. Glory to Jesus. Emmanuel, we give you praise. It's another day that you have made. The Lord is good. The Lord is kind. You are the Alpha. You are the Omega. The Omnipotent. To be the present. To be the size. Jehovah on time. Jehovah overdue. Jehovah Mekadis came. Jehovah Elohim. Jehovah Nisi. Father, we worship your name. Lord, we give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Lord. What a wonderful name is the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for it's another day that you have made. Father, please speak to us in the name of Jesus. Glorify yourself in Jesus Christ. Wonderful name. We have prayed. Amen. Brethren, thank you for watching our videos. Thank you for staying with us. You are amazing. We love you in the name of Jesus. Today, briefly, I want to speak on how to successfully finish your course. Second Timothy chapter 4, verse 7, he said, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. I want to let you know that this word is a course. We have come here for a purpose and we have to finish one day. Anyone that dies, he has already finished his course. But the question, was he successful or unsuccessful? Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 7, the Bible says, Then shall the dust return to the heart as it was, and the spirit shall return unto God. How do you know you have finished successfully? Number one, when you have kept the faith. That is what we read in that Bible verse. You kept the faith of our fathers. You kept your faith in God. You defend the faith. You successfully live for God. You successfully live for righteousness. The verse 8 of that second Timothy says, Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to only me, but unto all them also that love is appearing. Number two, how do you know you are finished successfully? You know you are finished successfully when you hear, well done, thou good and faithful servant. That is the voice to faithful servant. That is the voice to those that are finished strong. That is the voice to those that finished well. That is the voice to those that live for God. How do you know you have finished successfully? When you have impacted a lot of people by doing good, the Bible says how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good. How do you know you have finished successfully? It is where you end the well. Ecclesiastes 7, 8, it says better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. It doesn't matter how we have started. Oh my God. It is about ending well. Remember where he picked you from? Remember your, your first love for God? Remember you have started well. I pray for somebody watching me. May you end well. May you end strong. May you end gloriously. In the name of Jesus, receive the strength to end well in Jesus' name. And I want to encourage you, keep the faith, keep the race, and end successfully. If you are watching me, you have not even started at all. Maybe you are still living in sin. You have not started at least to know whether you finish successfully or maybe you end well. You have to start something. If you are not born again, you have not even started your journey. If you are still living in sin, you are yet to start your journey of faith. If you are in that category, would you like to say this prayer after me? Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. Thank you for sending your words unto me today. Father, please forgive me my sins. Come into my life. Come and be the Lord of my life. Thank you for answering my prayers for you in Jesus Christ. Wonderful day we have prayed. Amen. I want to pray for you once again. You will end well. I pray for open doors for somebody watching me. God will open doors unto you. Open doors of opportunity. That is what I'm hearing in my spirit. Open doors of favor. Open doors of joy. Open doors of breakthrough. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus. Please, I want you to like this video. 
um please feel free to share with somebody and as you are doing so the lord bless you the lord keep you the lord lift up his countenance upon you may he be gracious unto you and give you peace you know what i love you so much and i'm going to see you next time bye